Welcome back to the channel. I'm Scotty G. I'm a relationship and career coach with over 20 years of experience in happy marriage, dating, and successful business ownership. My mission is to help you all achieve success in life and love through self-improvement. And today we're going to talk about how you don't screw up Mother's Day. Fellas, this is directly to you. Mother's Day is huge for women. It's a huge day for women. Bottom line, don't be an Eeyore. Don't be negative. Be enjoyable to be around. If you harbor feelings of resentment about Father's Day not being a big deal and being an afterthought, don't. I'll be honest, at one point, I thought the same thing, but who really cares? Who really cares? This is Mother's Day is a huge day for women, all right? Most ladies just want to know you give a shit. Bottom line, the website Ashley Madison actually put out a study, and it was famous for a statistic for the day after Mother's Day. The day after Mother's Day is the biggest spike in female signups for Ashley Madison. If you don't know what AshleyMadison.com is, it's a website to find affair partners for men and women. And they've actually said this. It was probably a marketing ploy, most likely at one point. But I'd have to take them for the, for the face value of this statistic. It makes sense to me. But the day after Mother's Day is the number one day where women sign up to find affair partners. <laughs> it is what it is. Now, on the other side, Ashley Madison actually put out a survey of 10,000 women asking women and mothers what they want for Mother's Day. 60% of the women surveyed said they wanted a romantic evening with their husband. I found, I found that very interesting. Of all the things that a, a woman could say that they want for Mother's Day, they wanted an evening with their husband. They wanted a date night. A third, 33%, said they wanted an afternoon at the spa. Those are significant numbers, fellas. That's right there. That's pretty much all women. Either they want a date night or they just want to relax at a spa for an afternoon. That's it. That doesn't sound that difficult, does it? But I'm going to go a little bit deeper than that when it comes to what you should do as a husband and a father. The easiest thing to do for Mother's Day is step up and take things off her plate. Plain and simple, just step up. Don't bitch, don't complain, don't be resentful that Mother's Day is better than Father's Day. Don't be an Eeyore. Be decent to be around, period. So for us personally, Mother's Day is a great day to get together as a family. We've got a lot of family around and we invite people over. Uh, we go over to somebody else's place and we just hang out as a family for Mother's Day. That's a big deal to us, and I highly recommend that, especially if you're around a lot of family. Just get together. Just get together as a family. It's huge. It's When it comes to life, it's not about stuff. It's about your people and family in particular. When it comes to specifics, you can fine-tune what you do for Mother's Day based on your woman. What does she enjoy? All right, so... If you know that she enjoys a spa day, organize a spa day, tell her, go, get lost for about two or three hours. I've got everything handled, baby. Take it easy. I got it. <laughs> That's worth its weight in gold when it comes to Mother's Day. That is not difficult. Now, if she's like my wife, she wants to spend time with family. So during that day, I try to do whatever I can so that she doesn't have to lift a finger all day long and not be as busy as she normally is. Just taking things off of her plate, get together as a family. That's your typical Mother's Day for us. And if she wants time for herself, be sure the kids are fed and taken care of. I got it, baby. You do your thing. It is all good. Don't you worry. Everything's taken care of. Just take it easy. It's for one day, okay? If you have trouble with this kind of stuff, if you're if you didn't have a great father figure, if you didn't have a good family growing up, 
these kind of things that I'm talking about here doesn't require a whole lot of effort. And frankly, it doesn't cost a whole lot either. Now the spa day, maybe that be my, maybe that's an exception, but she needs to be pampered just a little bit on Mother's Day. That's what they want. They want a little bit of time to relax. And 60% of women apparently just want a date night. Just a, they don't want to feel like a mom on Mother's Day, which that kind of sounds funny, but they just, they want to feel like a woman, not just a mother. They want to feel like a wife. Now for you gift givers, you don't have to do gifts most of the time, but if you do, here you go. Here's a couple ideas. Homemade gifts, in my opinion, are the way to go. Plain and simple. Technology makes it pretty easy to get it done nowadays. So first thing what you want to do is just make a summary of what you love about your woman. Think of a top 10 list of what she does for the kiddos. All right. And honestly, that's a great tool to deal with resentment. If you have resentment towards your wife, write down 10 things that she does for you, the kids, 10 things that are great about, a, about that particular woman. That's a very effective way to deal with resentments. Google Brother Creative Center. It's an excellent website that has uh, do-it-yourself uh, cards that you can do. You can put in pictures. I've recommended this for years. It's amazing. I've recently discovered Canva, C-A-N-V-A. Uh, it's got a ton of free pictures and free stuff to, to make cards. And basically, you can just print out a picture if you got like like a, a colored printer, you just print it straight off of there. And you don't need the pro version, which is what you have to pay for. You can sign up for the free version and it's a trial and you can cancel it before you get charged. As simple as that. It's a great website. So Brother Creative Center and Canva, those two websites should pretty much get all of your, your uh, do-it-yourself cards needs done. And I've noticed here, the last probably four or five years, there's actually a bunch of really cool things that come up in social media in your uh, in your ad feeds for big holidays. At first, I thought I found it kind of annoying, but there's actually some really good stuff out there. So last year, I got roped into one particular ad by mydedor.com. So m y d e d o r dot com. I did a custom bobblehead. Uh, all you do is send in a couple pictures and they actually make a bobblehead that looks like your wife. <laughs> and it wrote me in and I'm glad it did because that 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 was a pretty awesome gift. Uh, my wife is a doc and I did the female doctor version if you want to take a look at it. It's awesome. That thing, it's just, it is, it's, it's very, very cool. So little things like that, it's great. If you're a gift giver, great. There's all kinds of stuff out there now that, uh, that's available to you that are simple. Uh, some of the stuff's kind of expensive, but your woman just wants to know you give a shit. Okay, you put a little bit of effort into things. And if she's not a, she doesn't like gifts, like I said, take things off of her plate, organize something for her, just so she can be reminded of the fact that she's just a woman and not just a, a mom all the time, all right? Another idea that you can do is just do a simple photo download of just a picture of you two or her with the kids. You can print it off, write a fun or even a sexy message to her. Something as simple as that, she'll treasure for her lifetime, okay, if, you're, if she's anything like my wife. So just a reminder that she isn't just a mother, she's your lover too. Okay, that's important when it comes to this kind of stuff. Obviously, Ashley Madison put out these things for a reason. Women want to know you care, period, and you appreciate her. So, just like we do, we want to be no, we want to know that she appreciates us. Right? Goes both ways. Absolutely. Another easy thing to do is grab her favorite snack at a at a gas station or a convenience store. If you can write a message on a sharpie. Love you, baby. You got a great ass. You just write that on a Twix bar and put it in her cubby. Okay. Simple as that. Shoot, you could probably, you could do that anytime. All right. Not just Mother's Day, not just holidays. Just do that um, to show her you care and you appreciate her. Post-it notes, do the same thing. Uh, simple messages. Love you, baby. Have a great day. Stick it on her uh, steering wheel, uh, her cubby, 
anything really, and uh, she will really enjoy things like that. Uh, lay them out where she can see them one by one. Uh, you can make it a almost like a uh, a treasure hunt. Um, you know, go to the bedroom type of stuff. You know, that's it's a simple thing to do, but it shows that you give a shit. Period. That's what Mother's Day is all about, and. I realized that this, I'm recording this uh, episode a couple weeks before Mother's Day, you know, so if you're listening to this uh, or viewing this uh, after the fact, this kind of stuff really goes for just about any holiday. Um, but Mother's Day in particular, don't, don't forget it. <laughs> don't forget Mother's Day. Uh, a lot of times you can get the kids involved with it too. That's, that's pretty special as well. But take a load off, okay? She she wants she wants a moment's peace. She wants to be reminded that she's simply a woman and not just a mother. Super important. To like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like the material. Hopefully, this helps you. It, Mother's Day is a huge day. It doesn't really take a whole lot, but just put in some effort. Make sure she knows that you appreciate her and you love her, okay? So join the Marriage Isn't Dead private Facebook group. Uh, that's where I interact with uh, people all over the world, my subscribers, uh, guys that I've coached, and it's an awesome group. There's women in there too. My wife is one of them. Uh, if you want to know about relationships, improving yourself, bettering yourself, start a business, you're welcome. That's what we do in the group. And uh, until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.